717 and what's trending? All right, especially Steve, what would you do for a thousand dollars? Something he already uh, does. I don't know. <laughs> How about eating cheese before bed? Oh yeah. Cheese. For a thousand dollars? I would. Right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I, 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 didn't know this a, yeah. I didn't know this was a thing. Anyway, according to Food and Wine, a company called Sleep Junkie seeking dairy dreamers, a group of people who will receive a thousand dollars for eating a variety of cheese before going to sleep every night for three months straight for a sleep study. You have to record things like sleep quality, dreams, and energy levels. The hunch is that eating dairy won't really affect a person's sleep, but they want to either confirm or debunk the assumption. Uh, that cheese increases the chance for nightmares. Hmm. And of course, if you're lactose intolerant, you're out. Uh, <laughs> that's just no, a cool partner. <laughs> I, think, I think we're all in. A thousand yeah. bucks. Sign up. A thousand bucks. Eat cheese before bed. Yes. Are they going to pay for the cheese? I don't know. <laughs> like cheese on pizza? <laughs> oh. I'm even playing cheese. I'm out of the game. <laughs> A Massachusetts high school has been racking up some major electric bills because its lights have been on 24-7 for nearly a year and a half. Minichog Regional High School says they want to turn it off, they just can't. What? NBC News says back in August of 2021, the software that runs the lighting system failed and they just couldn't figure out a way to bypass the system and shut off the 7,000 lights. You just pull out the plug. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's estimated that taxpayers are shelling out thousands oh. of dollars per month to foot the bill. Not cool. Because the system was installed more than a decade ago, it was difficult for school officials to track down the original installer. Then when they finally found the current owner of the company, it took some time to find a technician who was familiar with the school's lighting system. Jeez. The part they need has finally come in. The system could be fixed by next month. <laughs> After the bill has gone through the roof. I know. Hey, the Polynesian Bowl was just this past weekend, and the yes. game itself was great. But watch this moment after the game when this year's defensive MVP, Andrew Harris, realized who was on stage with him. Harris, by the way, is number 28. So take a look. Also, Troy Palomalu, national and Polynesian. <laughs> 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 look, look at his face. And he's, he's like, oh my God, that is, that is Troy Polamalu, the Steelers great, the, 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 the Hall of Famer. Harris didn't have much to say when asked about winning defensive MVP, but when Kainoa, our, our buddy Kainoa Carlson, who helped out, he said when, when he asked him about meeting Polamalu, he just lit up. Aww. He told NFL.com, quote, I never thought I'd meet him in person. It's crazy. <laughs> Uh, let's not forget Ma Tavasa. No, I was about to right say. Right He's a stud too. I was about to say. Multiple Super Bowl winner, yes. Ma Tavasa. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. 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 But I guess to his credit, the, the hair is up in a ponytail. Yeah. You yeah. can't really see it. Oh. And I'm sure that there's lights and you're in the moment. Yeah, there's so yeah. much going on. <laughs> it's, <you're> like, <gasps> <laughs> it's Guy Hogan. Yeah, exactly. It's like not when you're like in the that. grocery yeah. store and you see that guy. Yeah. Not like that at <laughs> all. That reaction yeah. is priceless. Yeah. 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 That's, that's cool. I wish I saw Metroid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let, let's tell you about 